So in front of me today, I have a DIY scrapbook that I made for a friend for a birthday present. And I'm going to be showing you how I did that and what tools I used. And it's very simple. Pretty much anyone can do it. The whole project costs like 20 euros, 20 pounds, 25 dollars roughly to make. And it took maybe three days of work, maybe five if you had less time. So it's definitely something you can do over Christmas. We have the scrapbook itself. So this one I got at like a, a euro or a pound land or a dollar tree, dollar general kind of store where they sell a lot of cheap books and cheap crafting materials. And in fact, most of the crafting materials and pens and stuff like that, the glue stick, things like that, you can get at any pound land or any dollar general. And this scrapbook was two euros 50 from a shop called Action. And I'll leave a link to some Amazon ones, which are about the same price um, if you're struggling to find that. And this one is a cardboard one in black. It's quite, quite a nice one. I didn't like the ribbon. So you'll see I, I changed it to a different elastic ribbon we had lying around, which I'll show you later. You'll obviously want to print off your pictures. So the way I did it is I went to the local supermarket which have a printing section i believe if you're in the in the states you can go to walmart there's a printing section kodak moments so if you find it this is what the quality of the images are and they let you store all your images in the interface is really easy to use and you just print it off at the local like big store supermarket it's pretty cool another option you can do if you're short for money is just print it off yourself so this was straight out of a printer, these photos. And I mean, I don't think it's very good quality. You need to maybe print onto card if you can. So that's like 300 on the rating or two, 200 or 160 or so. This one is very little. I think it's like 80 or 100 gram paper or whatever it is. It's pretty thin. It's pretty thin. I don't like the quality very much and the printing wasn't great as you can see. And I'll show you that the Kodak ones are better. This one, for example, is one of the photos I didn't want to use. And not because of the quality of the image, but, you know, the composition's a bit weird. It's just a snowy. Anyway, so you can see it's like a sort of a, a coating on the, on the surface, which is pretty good. And so far, none of the images are fading or anything like that. None of them have... A sticky back so you need to put some I've put some double-sided tape on this so I got the double-sided tape as well from the craft or the pound land or whatever you want to call it it's really easy to find uh, you just need to know your local area your local shops and you just get some double-sided tape this one is actually a foam one if you can see that so it's quite thick so you don't have to use that but this one is just a, a standard tape one. It's double-sided, and you just pull off these little plastic parts, and then you can stick them on. And that is how I stuck the photos in. That's how I printed them. This book can give you some inspiration, maybe, for what you want to print. As you can see on the front cover, I decided to do this kind of layout, where I have the title, top and bottom. I mean, it's just very homemade and custom. Trust me, as a gift, my friend was over the moon about this. So this was a book about our adventures together um, purely in the, in just 2020 alone because 2020 has been quite a challenging year I think for most of us it's been really tricky to get outside and uh, enjoy the great outdoors so we have my friend here and me here and we're doing some different backpacking and hiking stuff and the front cover is not this is not the front page oh, there we go so it's just, you know, you've got to pick a theme. That's the main thing. You've got to decide what you want your book to showcase. Is it going to be landscapes? Is it going to be a specific trip that you did with a friend? Um, is it to show off a project? Maybe you've got like a, I don't know, a farming or a tree planting project or gardening project or something like that. So what project do you want to showcase in here? I chose to showcase the adventures that I've done with my friend. And actually I had some fr uh, friends help out with the sticking the photos in and stuff. So you can see this is the, the Kodak printing quality. It's, it's okay. <laughs> it's probably not the best photo, 
Um, it's okay. There are some like haziness kind of sometimes, which I'm not so happy with. Like they definitely don't look exactly the same as the photos I printed. I mean, the photos look different on a screen a little bit on their colors. So it's not the best printing that I did um, or have chosen. I could have chosen much more higher quality, but it definitely does the job. All of the photos in here, every single one of them, including these two, which are left behind, cost around 18 euros or 20 euros or something. But no, was it less than that? I think it was 15, 15 euros or so. And I decided to print off these big, big ones. Like these are the big postcard ones. And I decided to put a, a white border. I put the logo branding, a little bit of the One Good Road kind of theme and what it means. And um, I, I had some extra space here. So I, I got these like little sticky labels, like these ones. And you, you can just write on, you know, use them for lunch boxes or something like that. So I just wrote on locations. This is a location in France. In the Pyrenees, and hey, it literally tells its the, the story in here. Um, so yeah, that's our first page, um, and it's with this like binding in the center here, which is pretty neat. I decided to put a map in the book, obviously, um, because it's a and it's an adventure book, and I saw that other people took tourist maps, which is quite neat. And then cut them up and put them inside. So just as an example, these are some of the local area. So we've got Ode Pyrenees and we've got Hariège. So these are just maps of the local area. So you can mark out your routes. You can take maybe a highlighter pen or just a standard pen. And, and you could draw out your routes. You could you could mark X for, a, you know, get creative, you know. <laughs> I'll show you what I did over here instead. So I, I highlighted different locations like this for places we've been through. Uh, this is the Eastern Pyrenees um, mountains. And I had some leftover pictures, so I put them in there. Titles up there, adventure map. It shows you the location in France. And I put some stickers in, some just simple circle dot ones, colored ones. Um, so another photo in there. This has the sticky backing on it again on there and this entire photo or entire page I took this glue stick you need to make sure you get acid free because acid free doesn't affect the image doesn't like cause any fading or weird discoloration so this one is I think an acid free one I think if I remember correctly um, I don't know how long this kind of glue will last in the book so just keep that in mind and I, I just put that on the whole back of this piece and then I put some double-sided tape in the corners and that's how it stays in there so it's kind of neat you could if in, in theory because these are on cardboard like this the really nice customizable thing is that you could rip out the entire piece and put something else in if you wanted something else which is really amazing so it's really customizable on showcasing your adventures and it's it's truly authentic like when you put this on the dinner table when, or on the coffee table when you've got friends over or whatever they're immediately taken away by the experience of like literally flicking through each page so and these these are all the images so for example this was one piece this piece and i i cut down the centers so it saved me some money <laughs> basically that's why i printed it like this uh, you can still see there's kind of a mark on the bottom there. So these are just some of our hiking adventures. You can easily print off your own pictures. I, I put the location name. Um, I could put a map of the route, but I just didn't do that to keep things simple. Put the date just for context. Um, the bigger, more striking images I decided to put in the center. to Keep things simple. And I've separated each adventure via... Like this one's called hiking adventures. So everything from now on is going to be about hiking adventures. Hiking, hiking, hiking. It's just giving you ideas, really. And then we did the Cathar Trail, which is a, a trail in the south of France. Follows a very famous route um, of the Cathars, basically. 
Um, and it has, it's all Mediterranean and also Pyrenean, so it's very, very beautiful. It's a really lovely trip. And this is the, the, the shower arrangements, which was um, basically using a fountain, which is kind of funny. So it's, it's really fun just being able to like flip through the memories. I can't tell you how nice it is to even make the book. Like there's a process of making it, which is really nice. And there's also a process of doing it, like literally walking this route. This is a different trail because I was connecting up all the trails. What happened on this page is that I didn't have any photos to put. I wrote on big blocks of text. Well, and then what happened was the two pages were stuck together. And I was like, okay, crap, I've missed the giant section here. So I thought, well, this is an opportunity to write some text. And I'm not really much of a writer. I do like poetry a little bit, but I, I put in some stuff in there. If you pause the video, you can read through it. Um, at any moment, you can pause through what I'm flicking through. So yeah, that was like a little a snowy hike. The most recent one and then this is the last page so it was a it was a birthday present so that is a scrapbook and I've, I've got tons of pages left over i think there's like 40 pages in total and i only used like maybe half the book or maybe less now keep in mind when you're printing it it the book does get kind of thick yeah you can clearly see it's kind of it's a bit over overflowing so that's pretty much it though. That's how I made the DIY book. Um, like I said, this is completely homemade and only cost about roughly 20 euros to make and maybe three to five days of work. Um, and, it's, and it's truly an amazing gift to, to give to someone or to create yourself just to showcase your memories. Um, then there's many other ideas you can do with all those photos that you have just piling up on the computer, you know? So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, Ask below, I'll see if I can help. And I'm going to be showing you another book that is a Google Photos book, which is very different to this style. It's, it's not homemade, it's like digitally printing. And I'm going to show you that, so definitely subscribe for that type of content. And that's pretty much it.